What's going on, mobile gamers? Today I'm going to share with you guys my experience of hacking my Nintendo Switch Lite. So let's level up our gaming knowledge just a bit more before the quarter of 2024. First off, I started with taking it apart. Of course, you have to take it apart to actually get underneath the board and actually do the quick hack. Now, there's four screws on the top and the bottom, and then there's four screws in the back. Then you have to pry it open. Of course, you have to pry it open so that you can actually get inside. So you use your spudger tool, the toolkit that I supplied you with in the link in the description below, with an affiliate link. Next, I checked to make sure it turned on, which I just was paranoid. Now there's this back plate on the back that you have to lift off and make sure you take out all the screws or mess around with it for 20 minutes like I did, to figure out there's another screw here, and then it'll peel right off. Now for the battery. Make sure the battery comes out because you do not want to short anything while you're doing this. Now for the heat pipe. The heat pipe was the funnest part because I didn't realize that it was kind of taped down, which it is. And it also has some thermal paste that was gluing it down as well. The next thing was this pain in the butt little metal plate. You have to pry it open on these little tabs to get it out. But I decided, hey, I'm going to take out my game cart slot first because I need to get underneath there anyways. Then... I bought myself a $130 microscope. Thought I was a mad scientist, you said? Well, yes, because the $130 microscope really helps with getting this done. As you can see, I can see everything up close and center. And so can you, because this microscope has actually got an HDMI out port to actually allow you to see everything that you need to see. So I was messing around with things here, lining things up, trying to figure out where things go, and this was based off of a video that I actually watched and decided that I would share my experience with all of you. Because in the end, when you have a hack switch, it really does change your outlook on the life of your switch. Now, this little orange ribbon cable board thing was kind of a nuisance because I'm not the best at soldering and I'm trying to get my soldering skills a little bit better, but I did pre-tin those copper contact points there and was able to get this soldered down. First though, I started off with the B solder po point, which it does say B on it, so you'll know where it's going. And I got that held down so that the little ribbon cable wouldn't move around as much, which was a pain in the butt. Now you could use tape or something to tape it down so it doesn't move, but I just wanted to try to do it the same way the guy was doing it. And then I got these points on the left solder down. Now these three points right here, they need to be soldered down as well they this ribbon cable bends over a little bit and then you have to solder these three points and i don't know why i forgot to solder the one point that goes to that little fuse but i did and then i messed around with this little ball until i decided to take that off get another piece of solder going on here and yeah my i don't know what was going on here my camera was moving and my device was moving so there we go now everything was kind of placed down nicely i messed around with that b point again it wasn't moving and there you go so that's the whole ribbon cable soldered down and then i connected everything to the actual pico board and i soldered down this blackboard which was a little bit of a pain as well you need to solder these sp1 and sp2 points to those little tiny fuses and yeah that's an experience all on its own now i'm not going to show you everything i'm just going to show you the fact that i was able to get this hacked and i was able to load the hack onto the actual device itself by following the guide that i followed and here it is the hack of the pico fly high fly easy to use kind of easy to use nintendo switch light if you want to follow the video for a more tutorial based guide then go and do so and what you can do with your hack switch well stay tuned for that video because i'm gonna share a video about what i've done with my hack switch so far have a nice day guys hope you enjoyed that it was kind of an interesting experience to be able to hack your own nintendo switch light the hard mod way in 2024